There has been a lot of conversations about cryptocurrencies, Dogecoin, SafeMoon, Ethereum, Bitcoin, Cardano, XRP, all of those going to the moon. But what are cryptocurrencies? In this video, I will talk about how crypto was created and why it's important to know what cryptocurrencies are. Knowing fundamentals is crucial when you want to learn how to do something. You will learn that in a bit of history in this video. Let's talk about how we got to this point in history. The first banknotes were developed in China in the seventh century. This made it easier for people to buy and sell things. It eliminated you having to carry heavy coins and even having to carry goats, animals on your shoulders so you can trade for materials, for food, for services. Most governments started backing their banknotes with gold. So for every banknote that you had, there was a little bit of gold saved in a vault. So back in the day, banknotes were actually extremely innovative and world changing until this started happening. Governments needed to fund their economy, their infrastructure, their people, and their future. So they found a workaround on how to expedite that process and how to start on projects when they didn't have the funds for it. Can anyone guess what they started doing? Brrr. They started printing money, even when they didn't have the gold in the vault to back those banknotes. The reason this worked and was effective is the governments knew that the people would not go to the bank in masses all at the same time to trade in their banknotes for gold. The main thing governments were responsible for at that point was ensuring that they filled their vault with enough gold to back the newly printed banknotes. And come on, we all know that that probably never happened. And because of that, inflation was created and started occurring. When inflation starts to happen, prices of services, goods, food, all of the essential things in our life go up. And the value of our banknotes go down. I will link a video that has a very simple explanation to give you a better idea of what inflation is. A cryptocurrency is a virtual currency that is secured by cryptography. Cryptography is the process of encrypting when sending money and decrypting when receiving. That makes it nearly impossible to counterfeit the currency and makes it impossible to double spend. Many cryptocurrencies are decentralized networks that are built on blockchain networks. This is where it gets complicated. What is blockchain? A blockchain is essentially a database, a ledger, which is structured in a very specific method in which it secures the data and the integrity of the information. A defining feature of cryptocurrencies is that they are decentralized. In theory, this makes them immune to government interference and market manipulation. When you buy cryptocurrencies, you own a specific amount of a digital currency. Someday, it'll be a lot easier and extremely common to be able to use cryptocurrencies to buy and sell things like we currently do with the dollar. It is currently being adopted and you will soon start hearing more news that companies will accept Bitcoin, Ethereum, even Dogecoin for services and things like Tesla, the Mavericks, the Oakland A's. There is a lot of business entities that are starting to accept cryptocurrencies. The goal is for it to be adopted worldwide. But currently, its main purpose is that it stores value that you can hold on to or sell. By comparison, and a good way to compare this is stocks. And you will hear this conversation a lot where crypto is compared to stocks. Stocks are offered by companies as ownership or equity in the company. Now, 
what are some good cryptocurrencies to buy to make this easier i'm going to compare bitcoin and ethereum the biggest players in cryptocurrency bitcoin is the revolutionary entity in the crypto world it was the newest currency in digital form which operated outside of the control of government and it's powered by its revolutionary blockchain soon people started to realize that that blockchain can be used for a lot more and that's when ethereum emerged ethereum uses the blockchain to do a lot of amazing and great things such as smart contracts that is for a different video but it's important to know ethereum is more of a second generation cryptocurrency but now there's third generation cryptocurrencies that are emerging such as cardano and those look to fix a lot of the ethereum issues this is an exciting time to get educated and do a lot of research on what cryptocurrencies are this is the knowledge that i have on cryptocurrencies if there's a lot of important things that i missed that you want to call out make sure that you drop a comment and you point that out i will later make a video on the coins that i have bought and i'm continuing to buy and the reason behind it thank you so much for tuning in and i hope that you all have a great day